This is the great one, the ultimate driving machine. And if you don't know what that means, you're excused. But if, when you see this car, you're seized with an uncontrollable urge to plant yourself behind the wheel and head for the wide open spaces, then we're talking to you. The great one is an idea on wheels. The idea that there's more to driving than just moving from place to place in isolated indifference. The great one is 400 cubic inches of glistening engine. The great one is a superb road handling chassis. The great one is bucket seats, carpeting, and a walnut-styled instrument panel. The great one is Pontiac GTO for 1967. Isn't it time you decided to ride the wide track winning streak? Great one is here. Hi guys, I apologize for the fan noise in the background. It's cold and the furnace is running and there's not a lot I can do about it. Um, but we're jumping in on the uh, Lucas model car hobby headquarters group build, uh, the turd polishing of uh, the 67 uh, AMP MPC Pontiac GTO. Um, we've got our, I've got the Weekend Warrior here edition here, which is what we're going to do. And we're going to rob some parts from the 67 Chevelle Pro Street kit to improve the, uh, the GTO. So we'll be right back and we'll start looking at the parts. Started working on the body for the DTO uh, during a hangout tonight on uh, on YouTube, and we got the uh, we got the Le Mans trim off the side. Uh, I delete went ahead and deleted the uh, door locks because I've got um, I can either use decals or I have photo etch ones for that. I will probably do the bare metal foil for the fender badges. And the trunk badge, I do have the, I do have photo etch ones, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to use those so small. Uh, we deleted the Pontiac on the, between the tail lights, um, and the same on the other side. We got our uh, mold lines all cleaned up on it, and then um, we we're on to the front where we started. The first thing I did was. Uh, sanded the back of my front bumper grill assembly to open up the grill the way it should be and then we trimmed trimmed everything up trimmed the uh, the front pan and and a little bit on the sides of the bumpers to get that front grill assembly to fit up in there nice and tight um, the rear bumper fits pretty well as it is. Let me get it around here. Uh, I can get a hold of it. It fits pretty well. It's a little bit too narrow for the body, but we'll just have to live with that. That's uh, pretty close. I have not worked worked on the tail lights yet. Uh, the later versions of this kit, the slots are too narrow for the clear piece to fit in there so we'll have to probably have to um, widen those out a little bit to get the plastic pieces to fit in there or I could just go in and I could put some uh, put some clear resin in and then uh, paint them from behind I may do that because that might probably be easier uh, again there's uh, I got photo etch trim rings for the tail lights which we may or may not put on um, I haven't decided yet Because I do have the model car garage photo etch set that has uh, has everything. I mean, it has the tail light bezels. Uh, it has the brake the brake pedal, the gas pedal, the emergency brake, the clutch pedal. It has the tail light uh, license plate bezels. It has keys and key rings. Uh, your headlights apologize because the heater just kicked on again. Uh, the air conditioning vents, uh, the radio, I mean, bezels for the 
with instrument clusters we have uh, you know just every PMD center caps for the wheels I mean it, everything is there and it also does the Lamont if you want to change this into a Tempest or a Lamont you can do that as well uh, so we may use some of that or we may not uh, I may save those parts for another build because I've built this GTO many times so I'm pretty familiar with all the pitfalls on it um, and places we have to watch out for so it does if you notice here there's a, that ugly ugly part is missing the where the old for the screw together parts for the uh, for the promo promo kit um, part of the reason is as you saw earlier in the beginning we are going to be harvesting some parts from our 67 Chevelle to go to go up under this GTO so we got rid of what was the for lack of a better term the core support on the GTO body because uh, the uh, the one for the Chevelle is going is taking its place uh, we'll be using the firewall from the Chevelle we have the chassis for the Chevelle and as you can see there is we cut out section there so that the GTO interior will fit right in there it fits right drops right in I gotta trim it a little bit a little bit more because it's still sitting not quite flush but then underneath once it's all painted you won't that won't even notice that that it's been, sur been surgically altered I guess we want to say and all this does fit up under the under the body just fine I've just glued it so I'll, otherwise I would put it in so with this we're we'll using the running gear um, the rear end front suspension from from the Chevelle I'll be using probably use the tires from the Chevelle, but we will be using, I'm sure, different wheels uh, because I hate to hate the wheels that come in the Chevelle kit. I just don't like them. Uh, the tires are fine, but the, those four four spoke wheels, I just hate them. So we'll we'll source out uh, different wheels and and. Uh, bash them in to fit to fit the uh, car is the uh, cause I was never a big fan of the the Pontiac rally wheels and they do give you the the turbine wheels from when this was uh, redone as the triple X car and uh, if anybody's out looking for kits if you can find the one with the gold DTO on the box it has all the triple X parts in it without hey, paying the premium for the triple X kit uh, including the, the flat hood without a scoop so that you could do if you really want to do a Tempest or a Le Mans with it um, there's that I may work with something uh, bash these wheels into work or I've never said I've never been a big fan of the rally wheels or I might find something else here I've got I'm pretty sure I got a couple sets of Kragers around here or something that I could bash into it. So that's where we're at right now on the, on the uh, 67 GTO build. And at the end of the video here, I'll throw in a couple, three, four picks of my previous builds of the, of the old GOAT. And, uh, yeah, guys, we will see you on the next update for this video. And I will put some pictures up on the uh, Facebook page. So... Till then, good morning, good evening, good night. Of course, the furnace just quits right at the very end. Um, we will see you later. Bye.